Hey everybody, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Josh. Hi. And today we are talking about how to properly place and align the cowling, the cowling. on the front of your plane. The cowling is like the face of your plane, the Hives nose. the business end. Yeah, and you want to make sure that it looks good. It's nice and aligned, looks sharp, because there's nothing worse than having a busted up face on your plane. You know, your friends are checking it out and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Your, your plane is ugly. It looks you like know. it took ugly a dive from face, the ugly tree. Bad first impression. Yeah, it took a dive from the ugly tree, had every branch coming down, or uh, your, your plane <laughs> looks like... Your plane's face looks like a drop pie. You know, that's just not good. You don't, you yeah. don't want your friends thinking Yeah. That. You got a crooked cowling, it makes the whole airplane look crooked. And it's a real nightmare oftentimes, especially when you have this uh, beautiful fiberglass cowling where you don't have any markings or alignment holes. Um, a lot of places on bigger airplanes will give you a clear one to make all your marks, but there's a simpler way to do that that is very quick and very easy. Cool. Okay, cool. Let's see it. Now, I'll tell you what, guys. One thing that a lot of times you see out in the flying field when you get out to flying is you'll see a cowling, and instead of being nice and centered, it's kicked off in an angle like this, or like this, or like this. It's just not lined up nicely. Or you got big buckles everywhere, and it's an absolute nightmare to deal with. So what a simple thing to do is, is basically find your holes where you need to mark it, and uh, let's go through step by step. What do you say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That helps me the best. Step number one. Step number one. Okay, here we go. Find the spot where you want to mark it. Basically, we have a hard plate right behind here. So, say we want the hole here, and we want the hole here. We got our holes established. We know that there's a hard plate behind here. Now, wow, that was easy. That was easy. There's more. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Basically, putting the uh, marks where the screws need to go is very, very simple. But when you put the cowling over top of it, it covers up your screw holes. You can't see them. You can't see them. Gotcha. Now, most people, what they try to do is they try to transfer the measurements from the fuselage to the cowling. But what we oftentimes end up with is a cowling that's so slightly crooked, and that is not a good thing. You want all your lines to line up perfectly. There's a very simple way to get around this. You want to hear it? Yeah. All right. It's our good friend, Mr. Tape. Now, you can use any kind of tape. He is a good friend. He is a very good friend. We go friend. way back. <laughs> Especially when we crash, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, basically, any kind Kind of simple transparent tape will work out great. Take a couple pieces of your tape, just rip them off here. Make sure you have enough surface here and you'll see why here. Start all the way on the back and as you can see here this guy is somewhat transparent and you can see your markings. Now what this is going to help us to do is now we can take our marker again and we can simply transfer our marks from one to the other just like that. You getting all this Josh? Gotcha. What we can do is we simply peel this back very carefully because you don't want to pull up any covering film. Pull it back to about here, and pull this back to about here. And here comes the fun, simple part. We got our marks, we're gonna put our cowling on, simply like that. Now take some time and detail, make sure all your steam lines line up. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. How's that? That looks great. Now if you guys look here, the, uh, the nose, where the, the prop's gonna be is nice and centered. The scheme is nice and centered. Everything is good. Now that's all that's simply left is to do the other side, fasten it down, and all we need to do, and I like using this little hand drill right here. You can simply take this, drill your hole. Careful. Yeah, careful, you don't want to push too hard. Careful. Go nice and slow. Nice thing about the hand drill is it goes very slow and methodically. Just be careful. I'll be very careful. Drill your bottom okay. one. Then you drill your other two sides on the other side. Once you have everything done, you go ahead and put your pull off your tape, put your screws in, and you're done. You have a nice square cowling, and it's as simple as that. And it's a pretty face. It's a pretty face. No one's going to mock you when you go out to the field with your cowling and, and look at your face. They're going to say, look at that plane. Do you like it? Yes. You know? Yes. Now, some results may vary. But yeah. If you crash it nose first, it's not going to have a very pretty oh, face. Oh, yeah. Well, then you're back to the drawing You're board. then back to the drawing board. Yeah. you got to get a new calendar. Then you drop that pie, again. and yeah, you got to yeah. start over. And speaking of which, if you do ever have to replace a calendar, this is actually a really good way. If you have existing holes, you do the exact same process, and uh, you can put any brand new calendar right on, and you're good to go. you got a nice, pretty plane face. you got a nice, well, pretty... Well, it's not a plane like an airplane, not plain. Not, plain not like a simple face, yeah. but a plain it's a face. Beautiful airplane face. Yes, and it looks good. No one's going to mock you at the airfield, nah, which is a good thing. The kids will love it. The kids will love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, now, I think we got everything done here. We're ready for the prop and the battery. We're going to be reviewing this tomorrow, so we've got to get a lot done. Yeah, okay. Yep. All right, well, we want to thank you guys for watching. We want to thank Hobby King for sponsoring this episode. And uh, let's go get the prop. Let's, let's get, get the prop and battery. Right, we'll see you later.